This is the prototype of our cheap heat storages which are about 10 times cheaper than these conventional heat storages. However, our heat storages are more expensive than these large European storages which have already been described by other my video, and usually solar collectors heat the water of these storages in summer, and this heat is not lost until the winter when it is used for space heating of a town. But on the other hand, our heat storage has the right to be very small, and the end of this video describes an example of the storage with 4 cubic meter of water. In addition, large storages of this type is also interesting, because their heat losses are less than from these European storages, and our heat storages are not dependent on the distance to groundwater, and they occupy a smaller area. That's why the beginning of this video will describe three versions of our storages with large volume, but I will take into account the results of the technical testing of this my prototype, and this is its disadvantages which were found during three years of its real operation with my solar station. It was the second stage of the technical testing. The first stage lasted four years, and it was this prototype with a volume of four cubic meters of water, and it was located in the basement of a house. And this second prototype already takes into account disadvantages which were found by the first stage of the technical testing. For example, these floats of old expanded polystyrene sheets increase the life of this liner approximately 10 times. This version should take heat in the summer and store it until the winter, and this storage has 80 centimeters of thickness of its thermal insulation, and therefore it has this rate of cooling of its water and 60 or 80 percent of the summer heat is stored until the winter. These photos show objects with sizes and shapes which is similar to our storage with 100 cubic meters of water. Thermal insulation of the walls is sheets of expanded polystyrene, and they do not glue together, because the pressure of the storage water reliably fixes them. This is a project of bottom insulation. And this is thin reinforced concrete slabs, aerated concrete blocks and cheap carbamide formaldehyde insulation with low density. This unfilled space may be necessary to remove moisture from the thermal insulation. These my cheap liners are a bad alternative, and we must use these high density polyethylene liners. This liner must also be high density polyethylene, but its thickness is less. The edges of our two liners are welded to ensure tightness. These wooden beams resist the pressure of the water, and their upper edges are held by these steel bars. And this is edge of upper bar with two nuts and a wide washer. We can notice that our upper bars are cold bridges but they increase the total heat loss from the storage by 2% only, and if we install a few centimeters of thermal insulation here, then these percentages will decrease several times. This is edge of a lower steel bar, and this was done by electric welding. These wooden battens with stakes do not resist the water pressure, but they fix the top of these beams. Obviously, we can abandon these battens, if we find another solution to the problem of that fixation. These wooden battens are cheap, and they are of poor quality, because their safety factor is more than 10. This decorative coating should not prevent exit of moisture from the battens and the thermal insulation. The frame of the roof must be standard and it must resist the pressure of wind and snow. This liner is placed on the frame, and then thermal insulation is put on the liner, but my mineral wool is a bad alternative, and our insulation must be installed from expanded polystyrene plates. The roof is covered by liner which is similar to this liner of European storages. The edges of all liners allow the wind to ventilate the roof insulation, but rain should not hit here. This is the cost of materials for the first version of our heat storage with a volume of 100 cubic meters of water, and we can see that our cost is $63 per cubic meter without wages of installers, and about 60% of this cost is the expenses for the thermal insulation, 
and it is described in this table. Thus, the main way to reduce our cost is to find cheaper materials for thermal insulation, and perhaps it is straw. In addition, it may be old polystyrene, and for example, this is one of the types of mirrors for my solar concentrators, and this is a very cheap reflective film which is glued to a thin sheet of expanded polystyrene. However, the life of the cheap film is very short, and that's why I replace those mirrors very often and use old mirrors for thermal insulation of my heat storages. In addition, an interesting cheap material is carbamide formaldehyde of very low density, but it is a soft material and therefore it should be located here, outside the wooden frame, but this idea requires long technical testing. Now I show how high temperature gradually destroys the polymer liners of my heat storage. But this is a cheap liner of low density polyethylene with a thickness of about 100 microns. At the same time, thick liners F high density polyethylene will have a long lifespan. If the storage temperature in summer is less than 60 or 70 degrees Celsius. In addition, we can recall that these European storages use special brands of high density polyethylene, and their liners operate long at the heating temperature in the summer to 80 or 90 degrees Celsius. Higher temperatures require a liner of some brands of rubber. Now we can see polished tiring of my storage which was operated at the water temperature of up to 100 degrees Celsius. Typically, expanded polished tiring has a long life span, if the summer heating of the storage is less than 80 degrees Celsius. If we plan to heat storage more, these inner layers of the thermal insulation must be made of a more heat resistant material, for example, polyurethane, but we can see that I chose the wrong brand of the polyurethane and it became deformed and brown due to the high temperature. In addition, if the temperature of the summer heating is more than 80 or 90 degrees Celsius, then we need another material of these floats. And this concrete also requires expert advice on the working temperature of its brand. This version is the same as the version 1, but the thickness of its thermal insulation is 20 centimeters. In addition, the design of the bottom can be similar to my heat storage, and this is gravel which is put on the ground, and this is those lower steel bars. The polystyrene sheets are placed on the gravel, but maybe we should make small gaps between the sheets, and it will be passages to remove moisture from the thermal insulation by wind. Those wooden beams rest on ceramic tiles, and shift of the beams is limited to this wooden stake. These two liners can be connected by this method, and the water pressure is good presses the edges of these liners. This is the cost of materials for the second version of our heat storage with a volume of 100 cubic meters of water, and we can see that our cost is $30 per cubic meter without wages of installers. The operating temperature of the second version may be more than the first version, because the second version has the right to be heated to 100 degrees but no longer than for several hours or days. And it is obvious that the higher the average temperature of the water storage, the more temperature resistant liners and thermal insulation are recommended. This version is the same as the version 2, but the thickness of its thermal insulation is 5 cm. And it is a very cheap storage, and we can see that its cost is $19 per cubic meter without wages of installers. Thermal insulation of the roof is a single layer of mineral wool, and this liner can be so thin with a thickness of about 100 microns, and the liners can be connected through twisting by this roller. We can see that the pipes come into the storage through the junction of the liners, but it is obvious that these my methods of sealing can be replaced by more reliable. The maximum operating temperature of the third version of the heat storage is 50 or 60 degrees Celsius. This version is a copy of this my heat storage, but considering these disadvantages which were found during three years of its technical testing. The roof frame can be like mine, but these wooden battens should not have knots. And these things have to be replaced at some inelastic mesh. 
If the thermal insulation of the roof is mineral wool, then its maintenance requires these three operations. This is the cost of our small heat storage, and this is $86 per cubic meter without wages of installers.